Hi mga ka-traveler! Welcome back again into my channel. For today's video, we will skip the touristy spot in Il Nido and Coron and visit one of the destinations in Palawan that is less traveled. Ang Port Baiton in San Vicente. Welcome to the first episode ng ating Port Baiton vlog. On this video, we will acquaint you on how to get to Port Barton from Puerto Princesa. Touchdown, Davao Airport. Time check, it's 10 a.m. And we have just arrived in the airport. Munti ka na akong malate. So we are bound to Palawan and we have a connecting flight in Manila. So we will visit again Palawan after two months. Nang aking balaba. So we will be going, this time we will be going to San Vicente. In this video, so I will uh, point you on how to get to Port Martin from Davao to Manila Airport. Yeah, there's mga construction pa na So after two months on our Balaba trip, is pupunta na naman ulit tayo ng Palawan at nakakasama natin later si Ma'am Purcell. But I will be going to San Vicente Port Point on Palawan for seven days. Imagine seven days. So I explore natin yung San Vicente and the rest of uh, Port Point Point. Ganun pa. A few moments later. Touchdown Manila. Oh my god, touchdown Manila, Terminal 4. Look at picture of the cockpit. Oh my god, perfect. I was the last passenger on my list, so I have the opportunity to take a picture of the cockpit. Perfect, that was first time. I love it. Ayan, so since nasa Terminal 3 yung Puerto Princesa ko kasi si Pacific tayo So meron tayong one, uh, I mean Terminal transfer from Terminal 4 to Terminal 3 Medyo kailangan mo lang maghintay na map ilang minuto Ayan, we're going now That's the bus for the Terminal Transfer So if you have connecting flight to other terminal You may board on this uh, free shuttle bus we are now at Terminal 3. Yeah, so straight to the boarding gate na po tayo. Kasi nang check in na tayo online. We are now here at Terminal 3. So wag nyo pong gayahin yung flight ko ha, na ibang iba ang airline. In as, in as much as possible, isang airline lang po pa. Yung connecting nyo. Para kung may mga problema man, is safe lang din siya. So, nakakapunta din tayo dyan sa immigration. But for now, dito muna tayo sa domestic. Okay, dyan yung area sa immigration. We miss going to that line. So, nakakapunta din tayo sa line na yan. Hmm, dyan marami ng tao sa boarding gates. It's really going back to normal. I will not go into the boarding gates. Just a lot of this. Just a lot
Touchdown Puerto Princesa! Touchdown Puerto Princesa! After two months, we are here again. Puerto Princesa! So after two months from our Balava trip, we are here again in Puerto Princesa. Another destination. Another area to travel. This time, this area, this place is somehow not, not, uh, not a popular destination. A uh, less traveled road. Let's see what Port Berto can offer uh, to us. Yeah. This is the arrival of domestic. The last time, last two months ago, there was a temperature check in Banda. But now, it's not. It's really hot. It's really hot. Puerto Princesa. Upon exiting the airport, there are taxis over there. So, magta taxi tayo. Kasi last time na nagpunta tayo dito, lumakad pa ako ng isang kilometro doon banda. <laughs> Tapos, so, makaya ko ng tesikel, 100 din yung singil. <laughs> so, magta taxi lang tayo para less hassle na lang yung tour. Ayan, so, taxi tayo. 200 yung kanilang para flat rate. So, nasa lang ganito. We have arrived at Feligan's Hotel. So, we are here at Feligan's Hotel. This is also the same hotel that we have stay we stayed during our Balabak trip. Kasi mura lang siya talaga siya sa Agoda. So, mag-check in na tayo. Sitam person na dito siya sa loob. Nasa elevator na po tayo. Um, katatapos ko lang mag-check-in. So, when I fill, fill up lang ako ng health declaration form uh, before checking in. So, instead, dito sa sa airport gawin. Dito na sa hotel. Yan na. Sa room 315 tayo. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sino ka usap mo? <laughs> oh, okay. Si Ma'am Priscilla, we're malapag tayo, buddy! So, meron tayo single bed at saka double bed. And the CR is here. Okay lang. Ayan, ano hindi ka makita sa loob? Hot and cold shower. Merong bidet. Perfect. We will be travel to, we will travel to Port Barton. So, pupunta mo na kami ng San Jose Termina kasi DIY tayo. So, uh, katapos is maghahanapin natin yung SBE na transport uh, a company. Yun yung sasakyan natin papunta ng Port Barton. So, from Port Princess to Port Barton, it will take uh, uh, two to three hours. It depends on the speed. Um, van lang siya, pero meron din yung mga bus uh, company na pumupunta ng Port Barton. Medyo malayo lang ang uh, mas matagal yung biyahe pag basang sasakyan. So the fare is 40 pe uh, 400 pesos. Yan, we have arrived at San Jose Terminal. Hi, Mom. Hello, po. Malayo pala yung terminal nila sa town proper. So this time, we will find the area for the Port Barton. Ganyan lang yung terminal. OMG! Yan, yung may SBE. Yan lang yung pa Port Barton. Yan, si Kuya. Yan, this is the three, the van going to Port Barton, SBE. Yan, so sasakay na kami ng van. 400 yung fare. 8 a.m. yung first trip nila. Yan na. Tapos yung next trip is 1 p.m. na. So if you want to take the first trip, so you need to be early here. Ayan, so 8 a.m. yung alis nila. Off to point by Hours, we have arrived at the, uh, the terminal in Port Barton. Ito lang yung terminal. So we're here at the terminal of Port Barton. So yung trip lang pala from Puerto Princesa to Port Barton. Uh, meros lang tatlong trips only. 
8am, 1pm, at saka 3pm. But, sa so kanina pala, nag-stop si Ma'am Prizel. Yung doon pala yung, ano, yung parang checkpoint ng tourism center. So, tinitila lang lang po sa kami mag-stay at saka ilang days kami mag-stay. So, you need to hire a trike going to our, our, our hotel. We have arrived at hashtag tourist team and so we are staying here at hashtag to room check by your room check ah yeah twin bed so ito lang yung ito yung yung bed twin ay walang aircon walang aircon nilag check fan lang siya Tapos may table, may safety deposit box. Tsaka the CR, in fairness, the CR ha, spacious na shadow. So yung, so yung inn na nakuha namin sa Agoda is meron din silang uh, small kitchen na uh, in which where you can cook, where you can borrow your utensils. Anita, let us check this. Ay, may kainan din. May sa saka sa kore. Ay, ang ganda ng laboratory. Ayan. Yeah. A few moments later. And let's head outside and let's see what's uh, uh let us see Port Byton. Yan yung reception namin kanina. Yan, dyan banda yung aming in. Tapos, straight lang is, so yun, makikita mo na, may beach ka doon. So doon na yung mga island happy magsisimula. Then, marami din yung mga resorts along the way. Nakikita mo. Maliit lang yung port part ko. Super duper liit. Parang barrio lang siya. Wala pang mall here. Maliit ka talaga yung port part ko. Nada Resort. Rubin Resort. Yan. Yeah. Oh, so, meron pa mga stores pa na doon. Yan, may nakita ko na tour package. Before pandemic, applicable pa itong lahat ng tour A hanggang tour D. Tsaka yan yung rate nila. Pero ngayon sa after pandemic is combination tour na lang lahat. Tsaka yung pricing is the same. There, no? So yung tour A hanggang tour D noon is uh, applicable pa siya. Pero after the bag yung Odette. So may mga islands sa ka destinations daw na hindi pa binuksan at saka nasira. Like the lagoon. Tapos yung German Island is still closed. So that is why ginagawa nila is combination tour na lang. So if pupunta ka dito, one day tour lang talaga siya. Combination tour lang yung island hopping nila. Oh my god. Up. Oh. Ay. Maganda here. Yan. Along the shoreline of this Port Barton, marami din mga resorts. Tsaka may mga, ano din, restaurants. Pero most of um, may mga restaurants pa na close. So, tahimik lang po ngayon ang Port Barton. It's because it's lean season by the month of July. Pero last summer, ang dami ng tao dito. So, kahit na barrio pa lang siya, maliit lang yung area, may ATM machine pa rin po dito sa Port Barton. We are still in search with Mang Prisel kung saan kami kakain. Some of the resorts or restaurants here are still closed, like this one. There are small stores like this, which you can buy by your necessities. And another store, shop, where you can buy your necessities. Diyan na part ang meet-up lahat pa bang island hopping. This is the Ausan. Yung room rate niya nasa mga I think parang nasa 3,000 per night or 2,000 to 3,000 per night. Okay, we decided to take our lunch, late lunch na here at Ausan Beach Resort.